I'm the product manager for Flowjet's air operated diaphragm pumps. Today, I'm going to take you through how to disassemble one of our air operated diaphragm pumps and put in a check valve kit and a diaphragm kit and then put the pump back together so that it's fully operational. Now, the first step is to remove the upper and lower body housings. That's this piece right here. And once we take that off, it'll give us access to the diaphragms and to the check valves. Now, I have the cutaway here so you can see, but we're going to actually be working on this clear pump. Now that we've removed all seven screws, I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and very carefully remove the upper body housing. I'm going to make sure that the inner flange is held downward so that we don't damage the diaphragm. Now that we've taken off the top end cap, we have access to one of the diaphragms and two of the four check valves. One thing to note before we remove the check valves is that they're facing in two different directions. This has to do with the function and the flow of the water inside the pump. Now that we've removed the top end cap, let's now flip the pump over and remove the bottom. Okay, I've just removed six of the seven screws, and I'm now about to remove the seventh screw and then remove the lower end cap. This will give us access to the diaphragms and the check valves on the bottom half of the pump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to use it just to get us started here very carefully. Now that we've removed the upper and lower end caps, we can now remove the diaphragms and the check valves. Before you remove the check valves, Make sure to note the orientation so that when you install the new check valves, they're facing in the same direction. The next step is going to be remove the check valves. This can be done easily with your fingers or carefully with a flathead screwdriver. But before we do, the thing to note is the direction the check valves are facing. This is important because when we install the new check valves, they need to be installed in the same direction. Now that we've completely disassembled the pump, we're going to take our check valve kit and reinstall the new check valves, making sure that the check valves are oriented in the correct direction. Now if you'd like to remove the diaphragms, simply unscrew them from the pump. Now to remove the second diaphragm, use a flathead screwdriver in the slot here. And that will allow you to unscrew the second diaphragm. Now that we've replaced the diaphragms and or check valves, it's time to reinstall the pump. The first thing to remember is to make sure that the clips are in their proper position. The next thing we want to do is install the upper and lower body housing. The key is to make sure that you get an even compression. So when you're screwing it back together, you want to follow a cross pattern. Now that the pump is fully installed, it's ready to be put back in operation. 